I was talking to a prominent venture capital firm on Sand Hill Road, and the partner there said, we're raising a crypto fund. He said, all the smartest people, all the smartest entrepreneurs we know are only bringing us crypto deals. So he said, we're being forced to raise a crypto-only fund. I'm aware of four uh, half-billion-dollar crypto hedge funds that are being formed uh, right at this moment. One day we're going to wake up and we're all going to be touching the blockchain just like we all touch the internet without necessarily knowing um, that, that we're uh, utilizing the, the technologies. The, we're still waiting for the Netscape moment. We're waiting for that one application that's going to change everything and bring the next uh, billion people onto the blockchain. La Token Research team estimates that crypto market capitalization can reach $5 trillion by 2025. The blockchain has created a new financial system. Payments, financial transactions, and capital markets are on the verge of disruption. That this, what we're seeing in cryptocurrency is a global class reserve currency at the very least, atop which we'll see perhaps derivative instruments in the formation of an economy, right? So if, if that is the case, we're talking about 10 trillion or, or more. And a $5 trillion number seems like a, a very big number. But in context, it's not actually such a big number. Uh, real estate, for example, is over $200 trillion, and all the gold ever mined is, is about $7 trillion. So uh, by a uh, new market emerging for tokenized assets and tokens uh, of, of only $5 trillion um, isn't necessarily uh, as outrageous as, as one might think in terms of the global economy. I wanted to thank Valentin for putting together an economic forum because I think the princi foundational principles of economics are largely missing. You can only buy like one thing with this token and then you can just keep passing it back and forth through this thin slice. So the question becomes, to me, if you look at fiat to crypto interfaces, I've been looking at you know, obviously these $500 million hedge funds, but the ones to really pay attention to are, you know, end user gateways, right? Mm -hmm. Like your consumer payment, uh, e-commerce, lending, like, you know, the things that users, the next billion Netscape type users will be using, because that's the real economy.